Welcome to this video on our series on common lab tests and lab interpretations for medical students. In this video, we're going to learn about the arterial blood gas or ABG test, what it measures, and key interpretations hmm. to know. This test is going to give us essential information about oxygenation, ventilation, and every med student's least favorite thing, acid-based balance. As a medical student, you're going to see this ordered mostly on your internal medicine, ICU, and emergency medicine rotations. Let's go. So what is an arterial blood gas or an ABG? This is real-time information about a patient's respiratory and metabolic status. This helps us guide interventions like ventilation, fluids, and medications. Here's what it's going to measure. The pH tells you if the blood is acidic or alkaline. The PCO2, or partial pressure of carbon dioxide, tells you about ventilation. Is the patient breathing off sufficient CO2 or are they retaining? The PO, or partial pressure of oxygen, tells you about oxygenation, such as are they getting enough oxygen? And bicarbonate, or HCO3-, minus, is the metabolic component of acid-base balance. This is controlled by kidneys. Our base excess helps us determine metabolic acidosis or alkalosis. ABGs are critical in the intensive care unit in any critical situation. In assessing patients with acute respiratory distress or metabolic disturbances, ABGs will give you pertinent information on what is going on on the inside. You're going to see them ordered for things like acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, heart failure and shock, diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA, and severe sepsis or septic shock. Interpreting an ABG hmm. can be a 10 hour plus conversation. Approximately 10 hours later. And trust me, ICU doctors love this topic. But a quick refresher on the physiology behind blood gases is definitely warranted. You can find a copy of this chart in the blog linked in the description, along with nine other common lab tests that you will see as a medical student. And that's it. That's your quick guide to ABGs. See, not too hard. We covered what's in it, when to order it, and now I want you to go nail this on your clinical rotations and impress those wonderful ICU doctors. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more medical education content, and drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I'll see you around.